What if I said, you know, there's a person that went to um, Sonic, the restaurant, bit into a hot dog, and all of a sudden there were there was a hundred dollars worth of cocaine inside of their mouth. Well, that's exactly what happened according to well the facts. Let's put it up full mass. Jeffrey David Salazar, 54 years of age, a cook at a Sonic drive-in in New Mexico, was arrested last week after customer allegedly bit into a hot dog ordered from the fast food chain and found herself with about $100 worth of unwanted, that's the important part, unwanted cocaine in her mouth. Salazar was taken into custody on Thursday and charged with one count of felony possession of a controlled substance. According to a probable cause affidavit, first responders arrived at the scene and located the adult female customer who claimed to have found illegal narcotics in her hot dog. She reportedly told the officers that when she took a bite of the hot dog, she tasted a foreign object in the food. When she spit it out, she reportedly saw it was a small, plastic baggie containing white powdery substance. It was not immediately clear whether the customer ingested any of the substance, the report states. The footage from inside of the restaurant, the video footage from inside the restaurant kitchen allegedly showed the cook, Mr. Salazar, making some kind of transaction with another Sonic employee, police reportedly wrote. Salazar then appears to go back to his job of preparing food. However, soon after the alleged transaction, police reportedly say Salazar stopped what he was doing and began frantically searching the area as if he had lost something. Per KOAT, police said that Salazar's behavior indicated that he may have lost the small baggie that was found in the customer's hot dog. Um, In a follow up interview with investigators, police say that he actually admitted, Salazar admitted that the small bag of contained cocaine and belonged to him, allegedly claiming that he purchased the narcotics from someone in the restaurant parking lot. According to a report from Fort Worth NBC affiliate KXAS-TV. The supervisor at the Sonnet location reportedly refused to comment on the incident when reached by the NBC affiliate KOB-TV. All right, it's a hell of a story. All right, um, very dangerous for the person who bit into it because I guarantee you, if she would have ingested um, two or three grams of cocaine, well, that would have been problematic to say the least. So it created a severe danger to a customer. Um, the element of him having drugs at the job, well, not a good idea, obviously. And when it was lost, it's somewhere, somebody, may actually know where it's at or perhaps it's lost in a food bucket. And that's exactly what happened. It was dropped inside of food. Sharon, I've heard a lot of stories in my life, um, but someone buying a random hot dog at Sonic and all of a sudden getting a $100 cocaine surprise, I have never heard of before. Thought. I haven't either, Let's, <laughs> does Sonic have something new? On the menu, right. but as someone who likes to cook and is often distracted and multitasking, you might get an eggshell in the scrambled yeah. eggs. I might forget an ingredient, but I too have never dropped yeah. that stash <laughs> in a hot dog. Right. Okay, I'm being new right. on the menu. Yeah, I mean, you know, 